Hi everybody, I'm just popping on here just to do a very short video. Um, say hi to everyone, catching up, seeing how everybody is. We're now on the third lockdown. Um, we're a few weeks in. I don't know about you, but uh, yeah, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit harder the longer it goes on. So I thought I would just pop on and do a quick video, giving you some um, reflexology tips to work on your hands. Um, what I'll do is I'll post this on my social media um, pages, um, hopefully on the website as well. Um, so this is called the Stress or Stress Busting. Association of reflexologists have also sort of produced um, some material which I'll try and pop on there as well, which gives you it in writing and pictures and things. So what we're going to do is work some of the areas of the body, because if you understand about reflexology, the body is reflect. Um, reflected um, by different parts of your hands and your feet. So your hands and your feet are like a mini map of your whole body and by working certain areas we can help calm the body, we can help um, influence change within the body and rebalance things that are maybe a bit out of balance. And obviously with lockdown we're not having the same interaction with people, we're not making contact and connections with people, um, we can't have our usual hugs and touches, which I talk about a lot because um, in the blog I recently did, uh, you know, hugs and, and positive touch is a biological need, not just a, a nice to have. It actually communicates to our brain that we're safe and we're secure, we're part of our tribe, we're connected. Um, <clears throat> so when we are sort of in this situation, a lot of people have come to home school or we can't follow your usual routine, you know, stress levels can go up. So this is a, um, some moves you can do on your own hands um, for stress busting. So um, starting off using your thumb, we're going to push across what we call like the diaphragm line here. So start around here and just pushing, 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 pushing all the way across and you can repeat that push 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 there are pictures that i have to say i'm going to post okay so using your thumb make slow circular movements in the center of the hand so if you bend your fingers over the sort of center dip here and we're just going to slowly make some circles there take three nice deep breaths as well so a nice step Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you're doing the circling, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So use your thumb, there's in the diagram it said that it gives you different colours, pressing in and rotating over what's called the green circle. So this is your adrenal glands. So you might need to Sometimes if you're pressing quite deeply, you might actually find something that's quite sensitive. Sometimes you need to play around a little bit, but it's round about here. So circling that area as well. And your adrenals is obviously we're going to be overactive if we're quite stressed, so our adrenaline's pumping. So we just want to try and calm that area down. So that's what your focus should be. Again, you can do some nice deep breathing. And we're trying to calm our adrenals down. Okay, using your thumb again, push firmly along the pink dots. As I say, I'll show you this, so I'll push this up as well, which is our spine reflexes. So starting right at the heel of the hand, working all the way up the side of the thumb, just making a pushing sort of movement all the way along. That helps calm the central nervous system down, helps all the messages that are getting sent up to um, up and down the nervous system, up and down the spine, um, helps calm that down. So then we've got, uh, we're going to press over and rotate this part of the thumb, which is the pituitary gland. So just pushing in and rotating there. So we work on one hand, that's supposed to represent that side of the body, and then we swap and we do exactly the same on the other side. Um, so if you try and build that into your day, that should just take you a few minutes, maybe up to a maximum of five minutes, you can increase the breathing. Um, but most of all, just take care of yourselves. Don't beat yourself up if you can't fit everything in, you're not superhuman. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed.